I am yours to shape, Mother Milla. Do you see them, Python? <sighs> Afraid not, my good man. They are G-O-N-E gone. I think it's time to call this a lost cause. What with a head start like they had? Clever dogs knew what they were doing, waiting until the march tired us out. By the time we woke, the sun was shining and they were miles away. Ah! We are such fools! How could we let every last deliverance soldier in our charge desert? Are the cowards that scared of a few pirates? Pathetic, the lot of them! <sighs> Forgive us, Sir Lucas. We scoured the area, but there's no sign of the men. I fear every last soldier that served under you has taken to heal. All right. Then let's not waste any more time searching for them. We'll have to continue on to the southern outpost alone. That fortress could fall to Desai's pirates any day now. And they haven't a prayer left, save for the three of us. If we don't rescue our comrades soon, we won't have anyone left to rescue. So the three of us are going up against a bunch of angry pirates? Alone? Are you mad? We don't stand a sinner's chance in hell! Watch your tone, Python! 
Sir Lucas is a noble. You must treat him with respect. It's all right, Forsyth. It, it is? Noble I may be, but I'm young and yet unknighted. I don't warrant a sir. Just call me Lucas. Don't have to ask me twice, Luke, old boy. Lucas, if you please. <laughs> you seem pretty different from all the other nobles I've met. Guessing that's one reason they didn't stick around, huh? <laughs> it could be. What do you mean, Python? Lucas didn't do anything wrong. Uh, you do remember who the deserter's ringleader was, yes? That Count or Duke or whoever it was strutting about like cock of the walk? Just after Lucas joined the Deliverance, those two actually came to blows. Lucas left Duke up jump in the dirt and got a promotion for his trouble. I somehow doubt the man just dusted off his ego and got over it. Oh, come now! A soldier wouldn't stage a mass desertion over something so petty! Oh, I'm sure there were other factors. Like the fact that tides of war are starting to turn against us. Probably reckoned this was the time to cut loose before he drowned. Python has a sharp tongue, but it matches his mind. I'd say that sums it up nicely. So if you knew it was a mistake, why didn't you let the windbag win? I should have. But when he called me a backwater buffoon, I lost my temper and... Well, I suppose I still have things to learn. <sighs> so what now? Sir Clive ordered us to defend the outpost and save our comrades. Perhaps I could serve as a runner and go request reinforcements. There's no time. We'll have to make do with the three of us. All right, listen up. If we can rescue our comrades and escape, I'll consider that a victory. Let them have the outpost. But, sir! We need to operate within our limits. There will be other chances to recapture the outpost. Hmm, the man's got a point. Come on, Forsyth. Let's keep our hides and save the heroics for another day. It's not worth throwing our lives away over one crappy outpost. I just pray Sir Clive will forgive us. Allow me. Fine, twist my arm. Ha! Stand aside! I'll die before I let you take this outpost! You came in second. to be quitting, but ye be too late. 
Right. This outpost and all Zofia belong to Chancellor Desai now. Oh no. Is this the end? This is bad. Will no one come to our aid? I can handle it. Maybe it's time to heal. Nighty night. By the pointy hook hand of Shanty Pete, you'll regret turning on the Chancellor. What? Seriously? Oh, am I glad to see you! Oh. Yeah! For Sophia! Hey, it was you or me. Allow me.
ってResolves that. Fine, twist my arm. side? How wonderful! Yar! Don't let them be getting away! friend. Allow me. Thank the mother you're here. I was ready to make my final peace. That should be everyone. Let's not overstay our welcome. It's time to retreat.
Buck up, little camper. Don't tell me you're still beating yourself up. So, they seized the outpost, so what? We did what we could. In fact, I'd say we did pretty darn good, considering it was just the three of us. Don't you get it? Losing the outpost is a massive blow to the Deliverance. Why else would Sir Clive send us on such an important mission? You're right. This will create some significant headaches for him. Sir, I didn't mean to... I mean... I'm sorry, Lucas. I'm making it sound like this is your fault. But we all know it's the deserters who are to blame. Yeah, but they deserted because of Lucas, so... Would you shut up already? <laughs> Why? He's right. If our loss here turns out to be a fatal blow to the Deliverance, then it's fair to say my pride is the straw that broke the Pegasus' back. I should have thrown the duel. I did not. And I have to live with that now. Don't say such things. Wait, why do you look so happy? Well, I may have lost my men, and not wholly won that battle. But I gained something in return. I found the two of you. You stood bravely beside me, a man your junior. I cannot thank you enough. No, oh, but that was nothing. We were just following orders. I can see why Clive put so much stock in you both. He does. Indeed. He assigned you to me because he saw you for the hard workers you are. But I'm just a foot soldier. A grunt. Did he really say that about... me? Can you believe this, Python? I knew joining the Deliverance was the right thing to do! Sir Clive needs us! And next time, we'll secure him a victory for true! He's like a maid who's just been popped the question. Take care what you say to poor Forsyth, Lucas. He takes things to heart. And why shouldn't he? The Deliverance may not be the definition of solidarity just yet. But if it has soldiers like you two in it, then it has hope. You'll take us far. All right, all right. Stop kissing my rear already. This is starting to get weird. Python! Lucas! Are you coming or not? We need to get back! Well, you heard him. Shall we go? You got it, Luke. <laughs>